Okay, so now from here, what I say is we talk a methodology now of exercises now because just now is the mind. So our curriculum, we're talking about do you want to train your mind? How you train your mind? How you how, how do you classify the training of the mind? And we're talking about the training of the body exercises. But why is it so important? Because you talk about body exercises. Are you doing this and you're doing that? You're doing that, you're doing that. Fine, no problem with that. Okay. But the main thing is the internal Taoist medicine is you have to understand why Dan Su, external training, right? Yeah, external training and internal training. What are the differences? If you don't even know the differences, uh, how, how, how are we going to talk about, you know, all these exercises? Now, when the body, when you do the exercises, okay, yeah, in the ancient Chinese, we have external exercises, which is not just, it's good. I'm not saying it's no good, right? Very good. Because running water creates life, right? Stagnant waters, they're lifeless. You have to exercise. Just like now, I'm sure everybody would agree with me with this lockdown. You sit indoor all the time. And then what happened? You feel your body's going down because, you know, the life force is completely shrunk, isn't it? We're not even moving. We're sitting down all the time. So then you block the heavenly pillar, your spinal cord. So you got numb bottom and then you know you got like in, you know stiff neck and then you got frozen shoulders because why because we knack up exercises but but the chinese in internal exercises we is to at the end of the day is for health isn't it for health promotion but before you had health promotion right because when you're talking about health now shall we say now first we're talking about have you, have you got illnesses if you don't have illnesses, raise your hand. I'd love to see if anybody said, oh, I'm, I'm completely illness-free. I don't think anybody will raise their hand, isn't it? Everybody could have illnesses, right? Either small one or serious one, psychological or physiological. So the zero, shall we say, that means we don't have illnesses, which is very rare. I'm, I'm not saying that, you know, <laughs> like babies, baby don't usually have it. And that's why the Taoists quote a lot of returned to babies. Okay, there's another topic I could talk about next time. So that means if it's zero, minus, and this side is minus. So that means this minus side, okay, that means we're all ill. We all got little bits and pieces, of which is not very well, okay? So from minus one, if I use this side as minus one, this is zero, Okay, now this side is health promotion. You talk about health promotion now, plus one. So minus one, zero, plus one. Okay, okay, very good. But how are you going to promote or maintain your health? So this is what we're talking about, right? But if you look at it closely, if we all got problem, that means we have a minus one. How can you go from minus one, jump all the way to plus one? Now, health promotion, and if you keep on training, right, you should go give you long life okay longevity fair enough so that means you cannot jump from minus one to plus one you have to go back if you're ill we all got problems can we make sure that our mind and body is in normal healthy first so that means nobody talk about minus one to nobody nobody talk about medicine that's the problem so in Chinese, in ancient Taoist medicine, is we're talking about why Dan. Dan is medicine, medication. So anything outside the body, medication we call external. So if you're looking at the TCM, we got the other remedies, the, you know, the herbal, 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 herbal tea, and even like Western medicine, you're taking tablets and injection. Now these are good. They're all good, right? Yeah, they're external medicine because it's some some medication outside the body, okay? okay. Now, internal, that means we, we're not talking about that because we talk about internal medicine, natural body medicine inside our body. We call it nai dan, and this is external, wai dan. So if this internal training, we don't use any external medicine, how are we going to trigger? How are we going to induce our natural body medicine inside for self-healing. So this is where the major in misinterpretation come in. People just don't know. They say, oh, oh, spirit, spirit. 
Okay, fine. Like I said, I don't want to argue. If you prefer that kind of training, right? There's plenty of school around. But from the university level, we, we cannot accept that. We, we, you know, because it's a meta metaphors. You cannot rely on a metaphor for self-healing. And a lot of people don't understand. Self-healing do exist. So therefore, we are talking about inside the natural body medicine. We call it naidan. There's loads of naidan in there. Okay. Do you know? You don't know. If you don't know, how, how are you going to train? So that means the exercises, if you all right, do this and do that, you know, do this, you know, do that and, and this and that. And it doesn't trigger induced natural body medicine for self-healing. That means your methodology failed. As simple as that. And you, after you're exercising, you, see, you can talk about this and you can talk, talk, talk at the end of the day. You can't even look after your own health and you have to rely on popping pills and relying on all the medicine, medication. Okay? That means your the internal training fail your methodology fail you make sense so that's why we have to look at all the problem and we're trying to sort it out before we actually put ourselves into it would it be better that way yeah so that's why if very important okay, yeah, so picture, we're talking about university and methodology or exercise or kung fa okay now we talk about now this tablet the j tablet Roughly about two and a half thousand years ago, okay, is an uh, artifact. Now, uh, it's around spring and autumn, okay, spring and autumn dynasty. So this is around about 2006, that time, or maybe even 2007, okay. And it's a little jade tablet. You can see all this ancient Chinese character right in the middle of it. Now, that's the word qi. That is the word qi. So we have talking about energy work now. And this we call Xing Qi Yu Pi Ming, right? This is the JP, so we're talking about moving of energy. So and we today we call it Qi Gong. So who found Qi Gong? Nobody found it. Then people say, oh found this style, I found that style. Hang on a minute. A few thousand years ago, this artifact was almost 2600 years old, 2700 years old, and somebody said that he found it. He found it this style. Are you serious? Are you serious? Huh? So think about it, okay, yeah? And also, this is the artifact, but from the ancient literature written format, this type of knowledge, you call Qigong today, they call it Xing Qi Su before, is 4,000 years ago already written down. Okay, yeah, the re recording from the, the list of immortal, the Xin Jun, huh? yeah. there's a guy called Pang Zhu, and one of this kind of uh, scholar and practitioner, right? who is supposed to live to 800 years old, but whether it's 800 years or even, you know, quite long life, shall we say. Okay, yeah. And he's expert in this, Xin Qi Su, and was written down. Okay. So maybe somebody starts saying that he found this, he's found that, and you know, and maybe you should be careful about it because nobody found it. It's a knowledge coming down from generation of generations of ancestral knowledge. True. Okay. Next picture, please. And the uh, character uh, underneath is we're talking about uh, three different type of breathing. Breathing skill is very important. I have uh that you're over it already to check on our, our video library. Yeah, is about energy. Energy. That means energy what is in this part is oxygen in the blood today, you call it. We call Chong Chi. Now, then when you talk about the methodology, you have, shall we say, motionless. So motionless training and movement training. Okay. Or if you still want to use the word meditation, okay, we use it, but there's really, really bad uh, misinterpretation in work because this so so commonly, shall we say, misused. Everybody, we talk about medication. You've got bleh. like I said, can we use it better? You use concentration of the mind. Then you don't move. So, like this guy, right? What's he doing? We're talking about make a microcosmic path. But what is microcosmic path? Do you know? If you don't know, so why, why you have to sit there? Do you have to really cross your leg to go into lotus stance? So all this 
Is it has it been misinterpreted? So while you're stationed there, don't move, but you are breathing. You are training your breathing skills. So Xing Qi Su is a Jing Gong, right? Yeah, it's a Jing Gong, Xiao Jiao Tian. Okay, so it's moving, Du Ma Ren Ma, and protecting what? Protecting, nourishing what? What organs? We're talking about organs, are we not? Vitality, the health. It's the brain and the spine. Okay, yeah. So everything can we do a little bit better? We understand what we're doing, then we try to we work hard to upgrade it or our vitality of our major organ. Thank you. Next picture, please. Now, this is the microcosmic path. Now, it's a problem arising. Okay, all right. You look, it's a center line. But if you just like this, the the other picture, it's a circle. Because in Chinese, we have yin and yang principle. You don't have it, this interpretation here, okay, yeah? It, because people were talking about the all this chakra thing. Fine, like I said, I'm not Indian. I don't know. So you better ask the Indian teacher. But the chakra and, and all the kundalam, um, kundalini, kundalini is, you know, like, all right, you, 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 raise, you, you raise your energy level and then until you connect, you connect with the macrocosmic the universe out there. Now I do have a, I did have a lot of students asking me because a lot of them are frightened of it because they said, okay, my energy join it, but there's nothing teaching them to bring back <laughs> the energy back. So they said, well, what have we got out there? I got lost. How am I going to come back? So there's a lot of problem there. Like I said, I don't know how they work. So you better ask them. But because it's a center line, and they talk, also talk about right seven chakra, nothing wrong with it. But like I said, what is it? What is the energy? It's a zoom of energy, energy ball. Okay, what are they representing? Yeah, but the Chinese side, we're representing a cycle, yin and yang cycle of energy point, right? Yeah. Now, this is in the front, right? We turn around, the next picture, please. And we also have another rope. This is Duma, Rama. Okay, yeah. So these two meridians, what they're nourishing. These two meridians, what are they nourishing? They are nourishing, taking the energy around, nourishing the brain and the spine. They're the two major organs. So I don't know what chakra mean. I don't know how they do it. So please, all right? Excuse me, I cannot answer you that question. Excuse me, I cannot answer you that question. So, right? There's more than enough for me to even try to try to learn how how that going around. Why are you tucking up? You know, linking the lower bridge and the technical wise swallow, linking the upper bridge, and then you swallow, and then later on you got the reverse breathing. You call it we call it embryonic breathing. So all this the technical stuff. So if you don't know, what? How are you going to learn? How are you going to learn? Okay, yeah. So in a way that that means when you swallow, why you swallow? All right, another misinterpretation. You stick your tongues up. Why? Why you stick your tongue up? The tongue, you don't stick it up. The, it up. The, some people say, you take your tongue. And then you, you connect, you connect, supposed to be do my, but connect. Now we completely misinterpret. Right? Because swallow. Ancestors say swallow an action, and you stick it up like that. So is it is this, is this for swallow? You tell me, am I swallowing? I'm not swallowing, am I? I'm not swallowing, am I? So a completely different misinterpretation, even in China. Now, when you swallow, your tongue goes up. So that means you shut, you shut the flap because we got two, two passage, air passage and foot passage. Do you know all this detail? You don't know. So what are you training? You're talking about epiglottis. Why? You detain. You detain. And then you depressurizing. Is it depressurizing all the oxygen is, it, you know, the, the pressure, the air you're breathing in, allowing the alveoli to absorb the oxygen into your blood. And that is what microcosmic path means. Okay. Okay. Next, now we're talking about movement now. For movement, this is the, uh, the ancient one. So we can see. All these movements. Is this from uh, archaeological digging? Taoyin Tu. Next one, please. 
uh, can they reconstruct today? So these are, you can see, you can see the images of the exil bouquet, we call it. So from my, from my dissertation and my books, right? Talking about all different dynasty, different dynasty of all these methodology. And this is the earliest registration. This is about 2003, Tang Dynasty. Okay, you can see even the, a lot of the Tai Chi movement, like right, like oh, there's the, the left hand side, the first one, yeah, the white crane, right crane spreading wing. That's two thousand three hundred years ago, and the written record is four thousand years. And somebody said that you know later in a later date of Ming Dynasty, claiming that you know they they found a Tai Chi Chuan or Qing Dynasty found a Tai Chi Chuan. Oh, come on. I mean, 2,300 years of the 4,000 year got written confirmation. And then somebody, 4,000 years later, they found Tai Chi Chuan or all this Nai Kung, all the internal training. So I leave it to your judgment. Okay, next picture, please. Okay, so now all this, isn't it not, you know, Tai Chi Gong, I call it Tai Chi Gong because Chuan is a completely different thing. Gong Fa is methodology for health. Right, so like I said, for self healing, right, and medical practices, Chuan Chuan is martial. So please make sure that you understand that. Complete misinterpret today, okay? So uh, this is exit bouquet, yeah. But how how does it work? You're just doing this, and you're going to help promotion. You're going to heal yourself, isn't it? Think if you don't understand how how they will help you, why bother training it? Next picture, please. Okay, now we talk about martial. Now, this is me when I was young. This is my, my, my Sifu, because I'm a 31st generation of Shaolin Meng as well. But Shaolin Meng, I don't have the shape because I'm, I'm, I'm in the temple for training martial arts, right? Yeah. And we call Jokka Dai Ji, Juja Di Zi. Okay, yeah. So there are two different types of monk. Yeah. So all, all these exercises now, these are Kung Fa exercises. Next picture, please. Yeah, now this is the my, my senior, senior monk, you know, practicing and correcting me, right? So all these are movements, movement of what? Qigong movement. They're all Qigong movements. But you have to understand how we're going to induce the natural body medicines to come out. That is the major thing. Next picture, please. Yeah, so obviously myself had to teach the, I'm 31st generation, I have to teach 32nd, 33rd, and 34th. Today is 35th now, generation of Shaolin Monk. Next picture, please. Now, part three.